Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show to you how to make the 3D isometric topography in Adobe Illustrator. So let's just start. I'm going to use an artboard 1000 by 1000 at uh, like a square one. I'm just going to press another zero there like this. Perfect. So the first thing we need to do is just select our type or like select our text tool here. I'm going to use the letter A for this example. I'm going to scale it a little bit up something like this and then i'm going to actually change it to like a monument type something more stylish for this exercise this monument yeah really like this font it's very bold and it works really well when we actually apply the 3d effect I'm gonna leave it here actually I'm gonna change the color to something more like gray it's easier i like to do this way because when you use actually black on a 3d effect the shadows don't really work very well I'm going to show you later. So and then with our font here, let's go to effects and let's go to a 3D and materials, 3D classic and then extrude and bevel, just like this. And let's just select here. We have our 3D extrude and bevel menu. And we have like this position here, which have like a lot of uh, already made perspectives, which is really cool. And we just want to click on the here and go to isometric right on the bottom here. And we can see already have like four different perspectives in isometric mode which is really cool, you have the left, and then the right, and then top, and then bottom. Yeah, it actually covers all the isometric perspectives you can use. And let's just select maybe like something like right. And here we can actually change the extrude of depth of our 3D effect here. Let's just scale it like a little bit like this, not too much, maybe 300, let's make it a round number. And here you can actually leave in plastic shading if you want. And if you actually click more options, you actually get have access to like the control of the light. Here you can actually add more light if you want to, if you're actually looking to achieve some nice effect to it. We can actually change the color of the lights. You can just like shading color here. You can go to custom. There's a lot of things actually you can do with this tool. I'm just going to make it uh, known for now. Okay, maybe I need something black, yeah. And and yeah, it's pretty much it. There's like a bevel options here if you want to add like nice bevels to your design. <clears throat> Sorry. And there is like some complex, like there's a lot of like options. You can actually explore this and actually achieve really nice visuals. And it's, which is really cool. Like actually sometimes I just spend like just playing around with it, see what happens. And I'm going for known now. And then just press OK. And you have your isometric type already. Maybe if you want to use this type, you probably I would recommend changing the light for sure. Something like more, more frontal like this, so we actually can have like really nice shadows and the visual looks nice. And the best thing is it actually steals editable if you just click and then just change a letter. So you can actually just do a loads of letters, and if you change your mind on a perspective, you can always go back to the attributes tab here, the properties tab. If you don't find it here, you can just go to the window menu and then it'll be here, and then just click on your font here, go to a menu here, 3D, then change the light, do anything you need to do. And if you're actually happy with the result and you actually want to add some nice colors and play it a little bit more, you can actually select the font, go to object, and then expand appearance. And then if you just press select it and then press D, it actually resets to black and white. So you have like a black stroke with a white fill, which is really cool. And you can actually then right click, ungroup it, and then apply like different colors for the fill if you want. Let's just do something like maybe bluish. And then it should be lighter on the fill here. And then even lighter here. Yeah, try to like make really nice like a uh, 3D type. And you see how easy it is and actually how cool cool things you can actually make with this effect, which is really cool. Let's just, I can increase the stroke and also you actually have full control as if, as if this was like a normal vector. And the only bad thing is it's not Edible anymore. So if you need to change it, you need to go back. So I highly recommend making like a backup copy before you actually expand it. And so yeah, this is pretty much it. And then you actually can play with gradients I don't know if you follow my channel, but I love playing with gradients too. It always like creates really nice effects, which is really cool. Yeah, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. This is a really quick tutorial. I want to actually to start introducing this type of tutorials on my channel as well, like really quick tips. Um, yeah, let me know if you like it. 
And if you do follow this tutorial, do anything with this tutorial, please show me, tag me. We have my social channels on the channel, on the video description. Sorry. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. See you soon.